And welcome back. We're talking with Kim Taylor. We're talking. She is the author of Memories of Bullhead City. And this book, again, is available on Amazon. Yes. And? And createspace.com. Createspace.com. Mm -hmm. That would be the only ways. Do they have one have them down at Hastings yet? I'm going to have a book signing down there October 26th. Okay. And I'm hoping that they'll start selling them there, yes. Yeah, that would be nice. Well, they're usually pretty good about selling local stuff. Yes. I, I, I would hope they would it's continue that. It's all in consignment that. down there, so... So now we have some pictures. Let's go ahead and, and chat about some of these pictures. I think you'll find a great deal. Now, we've shown you two already. Uh, next one, please. Now, what is... Uh, no one's going to believe this. No. Uh, no one will believe this. This is now Flip's Furniture. <laughs> really? really? Yes. It, yes, it was wow. uh, the Bullhead Auto for quite a few years, but it, it was originally uh, built by O.C. Buck, or Oren C. Buck, uh, back in the 40s. And... Uh, airplanes would uh, gas up there, uh, they would serve horses there, um, yeah, it was the original gas station, um, and it was a Texaco. And there are parts of that stone foundation still, still there, yes. Still there. The back part, uh, the, where you see all the rock and you'll see the two windows, Right. Uh, that's the original. All the original. Well, Isn't that something? That's and great. obviously it's expanded considerably since then, but <laughs> when I came here, that pump island was still on the ground. The pumps weren't there, but that island was still out there where you could trip over, and it was a sporting goods store back then. Yep. Mm. Okay, next picture, the please. The sportsman, uh-huh. The five grand. Five grand. Now, what, is that building still up? Yes, it is. And which that is, is now that? O'Leary's. Nuh-uh. Yes. Really? <laughs> is it really? Yes. Oh, my gosh, it is. Mm -hmm. And about what uh, what era was this? This is the uh, well. This is probably in the early '60s. You can tell by the cars. That's Fantastic. at least a '63 Fairlane. Yeah. Um, but it uh, yeah it was that was also built uh, probably about 1948 49 somewhere in there. Oh my gosh! I had no mm -hmm. idea. That was the only place you could cash a check at the time because there were no banks here. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Again, the dirt road. There you go. Okay, this is sort of a picture. This is even prior to the two uh, uh, cattle guards that were on uh, before first, which is what you can see right there. See where it says Bullhead City, then Arizona. If you take yeah. over the little bit of the left, that's First Street. And then 7th Street also had a cattle guard, and that was so all So this dirt. is looking to the north? Yes, looking to the north. Wow. And that's Main Street or Highway 95. At the time, it was yeah, called Main Street, right? it was right? called Main Street, you bet. Which... <laughs> Is appropriate, and it was all dirt. <laughs> yeah, it's all dirt wow. for quite and a few years. And just a few miles south of that, the road ended. Uh, yeah, basically it was just a trail after that, and uh, that was where the, uh, how do I put this uh, right, it was all the, where the Negroes lived, as, as they say, the old timers will say Really? Now. Yeah. All yeah same thing on the other side. Very segregated. Of, and, yes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, on the... Uh, Nevada side, the same thing. They were uh, like where the Riverside is now. That's where they all lived. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! I had no <laughs> idea. I had no idea of that. Hmm. Next picture, please. Thank you. Wow. Now this is about probably 1945. Bustling Bullhead City Main yeah. Street. Yeah. Can you give us an idea of where we are on this? I'm gonna say from the building. See, there on the left, you'll see like a little a, a white building. That is the Bullhead Tavern. Oh, okay. And so that's probably about first or second street there. For heaven's sake, we're looking not again sure to the north. The one on the right is still around. The one with all the windows. We're not 100% sure if that's still there. There's a lot of been uh, completely remodeled. Sure. Sure. Uh, okay. The original general store, this is where all the newspapers were uh, sold, things like that. The funny part is, is when the original newspapers, to get uh, articles in there, people would just drop off little pieces of paper of what was happening at the time. Is that and right? And that's what would go into the newspaper. Now, yeah. is this building still around? No, no long gone. Right. I think that was at 2nd and Main Street. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. Well, now this one will prove interesting. And that is still there. That is now where the tattoo shop is on the right-hand side, directly across the street from uh, the Bullhead Tavern. This um, is, it's all a brick, brick facade mm -hmm. now in front. Yes, and uh, that was owned by the Sansoms, Jerry and Sam Sansom. Uh, Andy Sansom is the one that helped me so much with the book. Uh, he lives in Kingman. And uh, that was about 1946 also. Fit now, to the right of that, <clears throat> there was another building. Yes. <clears throat> Am I correct? And that's where the original fire department was? Yes. Uh, okay. Actually, 
I don't know if it was to the right or to the left. I think it's to the left, actually, oh, on okay. this picture okay. here. The fire department and then the uh, Chamber of Commerce also. Oh, wow. Okay. There's the Bullhead Tavern uh, back probably about 1950-something. It was called the Frigideria on the left. The bar was on the right. And at one time, there was also a, a, a barber shop in there. And that eventually turned into what? The, well, it's the Bullhead Tavern. It's always been just known as the Bullhead Tavern. Oh, okay. That's the white building now, and it still has the apartments up top there. Oh, that's the one we, we discussed that was Gussie's, or not Gussie's, but that's uh, Oregon. Gabe and be. Angels, Gabe yes. and Angels. Gabe and Angels. Me. Yeah. It's been multitude of places. Wow. Oh, okay. I know, now I know exactly where I am. Okay. This, you can see, the again, the Bullhead Tavern is the first one on the left. Yeah. And then we have the real estate right there. In between there, I do believe, was a um, trailer park at one time. Not sure what that little tiny building was, but they just got through taking it down. Wow. Then we have the cabinet shop there, Bernard's Cabinet Shop, uh, directly on the right hand side, which is now an empty lot. For heaven's sakes. Mm. And Cecil's Cafe. Yes. Now this is. Oh my, that's a quiz, <laughs> I can tell. I don't know. It's the uh, gun shop. The. Um, oh, really? Yeah, uh, Longhorns. Okay, now Longhorn Long Horn Trading yes. Post, for crying out Again, loud. Again, the 1946, I believe. Mm. Gee. Now that's where uh, Family Dollar is now. The River Valley is where you originally saw the, uh, the Valley Grocery Store, or the yeah. Valley Market. That's all parking lot now. Oh, for crying oh, out loud. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. That was back in the 60s. So the back there, the market is where the family dollar is now. Correct. Uh huh. And notice up on the hill behind where it says hardware, there's a couple water tanks up there. Yes. That would be the Arizona or the Nevada side. Yeah, the same Laughlin. Oh yep. my. Okay. What in the world? Now this is the Hardyville ruins. This is back in 1909 when they took these pictures. <sighs> yeah. Really? One of the only pictures you can find. And we. My searched. gosh. And at the time, those were about 50 years old or so, probably, probably when you say? Probably, yeah. Looks like all the Dobie. Mm-hmm. Wow. They came up from Needles, these people, and uh, were taking pictures, and very difficult to find anything on Hardyville other than or the written word. These are the, about the only pictures you'll be able to find. And this, of course, was, Oops, uh, that was, uh, that's all right. That's right behind where Safeway is today, right? We're pretty sure, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. And this is the original commercial building in Bullhead City uh, between 2nd and 3rd Street on the east side. It was called the Oasis Building. It burnt to the ground somewhere in the 60s. Okay. It uh, had um, Irene's dress shop in there. It had, um, had hairdressers and I th think the post office, the wow. original post office. <sighs> and that's uh, Merle Emery's original house here in Bullhead. He was one of the original people here. Oh this my is gosh. The, the history. This is what we were told. Nobody is 300% sure. It is, they think that's the original one. Then it was sold to Ber Vern Peterson, who had Peterson's Acres all along the river. For crying out loud. This was originally uh, what is now Earl's Castle. Nuh uh. Yeah, it was a house. Uh, Robert Dell lived there with his family. Um, I think it was like four or five other brothers and a sister. They all slept basically outside, and in the 60s, somewhere in there, they turned it into, um, yes, Trader Dick's. Yeah, I remember that. And at some point in time, it turned into Merlin's House of uh, Blues, and now yeah. it's Earl's Castle. <laughs> I know. What, I know that went through more hands than, mm -hmm. than a, a bar of soap for a while around here. What made them think, though, to make it into a, a restaurant? I don't know. Too much booze. <laughs> <laughs> Next. And there's Jerry oh, there and Sam go. Samson, yeah. And, there you go. And you can see the fire department on the left. Yep. There. Amazing. So the tattoo shop would be on the left, and actually where it says grocery, that's an attorney's office. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's Bullhead's Rock. Bull's Head Rock. Is it really? It was a, a, a good navigation point for the Indians at the time to be able to pass over to the, air, to the Nevada side. And that entire rock, just to give you an idea, that's when the river was not dammed up. Yeah, by anything. So that thing is completely underwater. That's Pretty much, yes. Yeah. I do believe it comes up once in a while because, you know, the river goes up, or the lake goes up and down. Okay. But, yeah, it's uh, pretty much under 
but I heard it was a, a couple several months ago somebody actually ran into it according to the newspaper. Now this is the uh, old picture of Tri-State when it became basically a ghost town. Okay, and it, it is now underwater uh, as which well. Which we think is where Telephone Cove is now on the Nevada side. Okay. So. Okay, that would look right. Now this is a really interesting picture. This is the uh, Bureau Camp uh, on the Nevada side from the water tower up mm. here. And you can still get up to where the water tower mm -hmm. is or was and look down and you can see all the rows of houses or the rows where the houses were. That's something. Davis Dam Town site? Yep. Good grief. That's something. A couple more. Okay. Now this was inside the uh, Craftsman Bar, uh, which is long gone, of course. This is 1946. And these are the owners, uh, the Pruitts. <clears throat> wow. And of oh, course nice. there's the Valley Market that I showed you. It was right in front of where Family Dollar is now. That's it. That's it? That's it. Now there's, um, this is just a smatter, just a very small percentage of the, the pictures that are available in this book. You need to get the book to check it out and find out the real history because everybody's got their own version of what happened around here. Oh, yeah. But this is probably one of the best that I've seen oh, thank based you. on a lot of fact and a lot of research and congratulations on that. Thank you very much. Uh, you did a nice job and I'm, I'm really, thank you for the copy. I enjoy it, and I will be loaning it to friends with a chain on it, so I get it back. <laughs> Book signing again? October 26th at Hastings okay. from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you can find it, Memories of Bullhead City, online. Mm -hmm. Amazon.com or on createspace.com. Okay, now if somebody mm -hmm. can't do all that, do you want them to give you a call for a copy? Uh, they can email me at migraine2002 at, at gmail.com. M-I-G-R-A-N-E? Uh-huh at what? At gmail.com. Gmail. .com. gmail. Yeah. All 2002. Right. Migraine. Migraine. <laughs> headache. Migraine. Headache. Listen, thank you so much for oh, being here. Oh, thank you so much it. for having me. Absolutely. Appreciate Stay it. right there. We're going to have you back, too. Oh. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you very much. Please be sure and tune in again tomorrow. We can open up the phone lines. And I really want to hear what some of you have to think about all this stuff going on politically. Get yourself a copy of this book if you possibly can. Go to the book signing. I think you will enjoy it as much as I did. It's even got a great bit of history on Laughlin uh, and other areas in the tri-state area, so you need to uh, check it out. I, if you're into history at all and you want to know what really happened, we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.